So now we're going to look at how to create some SVG rectangles to act as bars to create a, a simple bar chart from a set of data like this. Now this is similar to one of the previous challenges where we used CSS rectangles instead to make a basic bar chart. But except this time we're going to be using these rectangle elements and we're going to create one for each item in this array. Now an important distinction uh, from the CSS rectangles is the fact that we can't put SVG rectangle tags into the document itself. They have to be contained within a set of SVG tags like this. So the first thing to do is to create and select an SVG tag. So they've already created one right here and they've inside the body and they've given it a width and a height. And we can just use this. So the first thing to do is to kind of select any rectangle elements inside the SVG tag just in case there are already some there and they've already done that right here and what we want to do is we want to associate it with this set of data and to bind it we can use the dot data function and we can pass it the set of data which is the data set right here. Now our next thing we want to do is we want to tell it what to do if it doesn't find a rectangle element already there and we'll use the enter to do that and then we'll specify what it, we want it to do. So what we want to do is we wanted to create a new rectangle element for each of these items. So we will just use append and the type of element we want to create is rectangle. And it's basically created a bunch of rectangle elements here. Now it says here the bar placement will be covered in the next challenge. So it says they should display on top of each other. So that's what they're doing right now. And we're going to look at fixing that in the next challenge. So this is all we need for this test. So we're just going to run it now. And yeah, that's everything we needed.